I can't believe this Toronto food just gets better and better. All you can eat A5 Wagyu. This is so good. Hey everyone, this is Tim and I'm with my good friend Anindo here. We just arrived in Toronto and uh, it's early in the morning and we're just heading up to our hotel. Pretty excited and can't wait to try all the good food here and more importantly can't wait to meet up with our old friends here as well. And thank you so much for joining and also thank you for everyone who suggested the great places to eat around Toronto. I'm pretty excited because a couple of viewers suggested a fantastic barbecue place and it's a Wagyu all-you-can-eat barbecue place and it gets better because I heard it was the A5 Japanese Wagyu beef so can't wait to give that a try and uh, right now it's getting a little bit cold and we're just approaching our hotel so we'll take you in and uh, check it out. This is nice. So this is a hotel room and I travel pretty light. Let me show you what I take on my travels. Uh, these are laundry strips and they come in pretty handy, especially when you're exploring the city and having lots of good food. It can get messy and having uh, something like this is quite useful. I used to bring those single-use travel laundry packets around, but these are much more convenient and mess-free. And more importantly, there's no plastics. I was pretty surprised to see how much plastics are used in restaurants as they go through their health and safety protocols and pretty shocked that even something as simple as laundry uses over a billion plastic containers a year and most of that sits in our landfill. These are True Earth laundry strips and a big thank you to True Earth for sponsoring this video. I've been using True Earth since the beginning of the year and they're fantastic. Uh, zero waste, little space and they're hypoallergenic. These are the fresh linen strips but you can get the non-scented strips as well and you use them just like you would their liquid or powdered counterpart. Uh, load up your laundry, tear off a strip, place it in the detergent chamber and wash away. And when you're traveling, all you need is a little bit of water, tear off a strip, wish it around, let it dissolve and wash away your dining mishaps. As we try to balance the amount of plastic used in the all important health and safety protocols and yet be environmentally mindful, something as simple as laundry strips is a very easy way to uh, do what we can and to do our part. And for me, the relative cost difference isn't significant. It's equivalent to giving up a cup of coffee once a month. And True Earth was nice enough to provide a discount code, TIM10, and that would give you 10% off your next purchase. And I'll leave that and the link in the description below. And give it a try. It's risk-free, it's shipped to your door, and if you do a lot of laundry in your household, they have a subscription service that gives you additional savings. And the 10% discount code applies to that as well. So now that we don't have to worry about getting our clothes dirty, I think it's time for some amazing barbecue and some amazing Wagyu meats. Come on, let's go. So again, the Toronto subway system is fantastic and it's actually a little wet outside and I can't think of a better day than to be in a nice warm restaurant with a nice barbecue and endless meats and maybe a little bit of veggies on the side for garnish. Sorry, Peter. And I see it right up ahead. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're hungry. Uh, let's go in and check it out. Hi, Shad, how are you? Good, hi. This looks amazing, so uh, I can't wait. Yeah, just follow me this way, please. Oh, thank you so much. All right, so I got this beautiful table from Shan and uh, coming in I saw a lot of uh, displays of the Wagyu beef 
and I can't wait to give it a try. And I see some menus over here. All right, so this looks so good and pretty excited. Uh, I'm by myself because my good friend Anindo is uh, doing a Big Mac purchase, uh, not the Big Mac you're thinking about. He's at the Apple store making a purchase. So I'm so glad that you're here with me and I'm just taking a look at the menu. They look fantastic. Right. So they have the black menu, all you can eat. And then you go to the silver, which has a little bit of Wagyu. And then finally, the gold, which has 10 types of different Wagyu. And I think you can have an option for some uh, amazing Japanese Wagyu. So I couldn't resist and I did order the gold Wagyu all-you-can-eat meal. And I did top it up with the A5 Japanese Wagyu. Oh, and I see our food coming. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. And more importantly, the wine. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. Cheers. Oh, very good. And I think that's going to be much needed for the fatty meats and all the nice Wagyu. But let me show you what we have so far. Okay, so we got the veggie first, a little bit of lettuce, some mushrooms. This, Sabrina was saying, was the sweet potato in cheese. So I can't wait to see what that is. And then I think this is clams, some seafood, and Sabrina talked me into a little bit of salad. So I think we're gonna put the sweet potato with cheese, followed by the clams. So while those are heating up, I suspect the meats and the food will come fast and furious. I can't wait. So a little bit of salad to start. Mm. Very nice salad, very fresh. And nice to get the veggies out of the way. Oh, and I see Sabrina coming. Oh, thank you so much. What is this? So for this one, it's just selecting Wagyu cuts. Oh, wow. And this one is special cuts. Oh, okay. And this one is our red cuts. So I haven't had time and Sabrina is coming out with another dish. So these are the Australian Wagyu from the tenderloin to the uh, other rib cuts. And this is the Kagoshima A5 Wagyu beef. And we have uh, the rib cuts and look at that nice and fatty so i can't wait to dig in but i see our little packets are bubbling away let's take those off first oh let's take a look at what's inside oh wonderful clams and let's see what's in here oh steaming hot cheesy sweet potatoes all right let's give the clams a try Mmm, very good. Clams are definitely a favorite. Nice and hot. Mmm. Oh. All right, and a little bit of potatoes to start things off. All right. I think I might have left it on there for a little too long. Oh. That is so good. Like a potato gratin. And you get the nice melty cheese and the nice little crust at the bottom. Mm, very nice. All right. So enough with the appetizers. Let's go for the meats. All right, so I'm tempted to start off with this, but maybe we should save the best for not last, but at least a little bit later. Is this a whole piece? Oh my goodness. All right. I think I'm going to start off small. Maybe one of this on the grill and one of this. All right, I'm always afraid to buy the Wagyu beef myself and screw it up. This way, I'm gonna start off a little bit small, and if I screw it up, I can order some more as well. So let's see. So I can't really wait, so I think I'm gonna put more on the grill. So I'm trying to practice my patience, but that's not working at the minute. So a little bit of salt. Give it a flip. Oh, look at that. All right, so let's give it a try. Looking nice and medium rare. And let's try, I have some tobarashi, some uh, spicy chili sauce, and some sweet soy sauce. Give that a little bit of a dip. Mmm. Oh, very good. Nice and charred on the outside. And you know, that prime rib cap that you have, 
That's nice and soft. This is it. Nice and fatty. Mm. Very good. Mm. Let's try the tenderloin next. A little bit of soy this time, a little bit of spice. There we go. Oh, that is fantastically nice and tender. Mm. Melting in the mouth, very nice. And I think it's a little bit mechanically tenderized. Not a bad thing. Oh, very good. And I put on that massive tenderloin and I think that's cooking away. I think it's about done. So still a little bit rare. I'm just gonna leave that in there for another minute. Okay. So let's not keep it lonely. Let's put a few mushrooms on. All right, I think that's as much as done as I'd like to have it. Still juicy. Okay. Let's put it here for now. So it looks like this is a knife and fork situation, which is not a bad problem to have. I'm glad they gave me a butter knife because it just cuts right through. Look at that. And it's well rested. Let's give this a try. Oh, center cut. Oops. A little bit of sauce. Cheers. Mm. Nice and tender and a little bit of fat cap at the end. Oh, very good. Mm. But messy. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but those Wagyu cuts were just to establish a common point. I can't wait to try the A5 Wagyu. Okay, look at the marbling there and a nice chunk of fat. I'm gonna go for one of these and one of these. All right. Cut number one, cube number two. I'm not gonna leave them on for too long. Let's give them a flip. Okay. A little bit of salt. Oh, look at that flame. Whoa. And I think that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna do this one rare. <laughs> so I can't wait to try. All right. All right, cheers. Oh. So you hear about people saying it's like butter and there's really no chewing. That is the case. It, it is so rich and luscious. And you're not really chewing, you're just letting your mouth move and it just dissolves. I don't know what way to say it, but mm, it's, it's luscious, it just envelops the mouth. Oh, very good. All right, I'm gonna try the Wagyu A5 Cube. Cheers. Mm. Again, it just envelops the mouth. So luscious and a nice straw on the outside, but inside it just melts. All right, so definitely going for more of these. Okay, can't wait to give it a try. Mm. A little bit of salt, and that's all you need. So the A5 beef Kagoshima, very nice. Mm. Very good. Oh my God. So let me introduce for you. All right. This one, Australia M9, New York stick. Okay. Very good town, Australia M9. Ooh. Uh, Australia M9 Coral Beef. Yeah. US Gold Gold Beef Shore. Yeah. And Australia M9 Sirloin. All right. Okay. Enjoy. All right. So they have this huge platter here. And uh, it's really tough because once you have the A5 Wagyu uh, and you're given the regular, hopefully the A5 didn't uh, ruin it for me. So this is pretty hard to do. I think we're just gonna go for a free-for-all, one of each, fill up the grill and eat as much as we can. One of these, an ox tongue, a little bit of brisket. That is a toro. And the strip loin. 
All right, this is a race against time. I'm only going to do one side. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. All right, so that was a bit of work. And uh, let's give this a try. So this is a Toro, the nice fatty cut, a little bit of sauce. Mmm. That was a Toro that was pretty fatty. That same melting in your mouth is there. But compared to the A5, you do need to chew it a little bit, but just a tiny bit more. But very good. Let's try this. Mmm. Nice and meaty. Oh, very good. And next, I'm going to do the brisket. Dunk it in some sauce. Mmm, that is so flavorful and sliced so thin. It's got a little bit of char, mm. but it still melts in your mouth. Very good. And I can't wait to try the ox tongue. Now the ox tongue is already pretty fatty, but I've never tried a Wagyu ox tongue. Okay. This sweet soy sauce is becoming my favorite. Mm. That one is a little bit of an acquired taste. I can't help but think that while I'm tasting it, it's tasting me. A little bit of chew, mm, not my favorite. <laughs> so there's more food and look at what we have. To mix it up, we've got a couple of scallops, some jumbo tiger prawns, look at that. And wonderful lamb chops. So I feel somewhat inefficient when that grill is not working at full capacity. So I'm just gonna get back to work and I'll check in with you in a little bit. So I think we're finishing most of the meats. Everything was really good. The shrimp was amazing, the scallops, and uh, ooh, the lamb chops are very good. So normally I would not order all those, but it's just kind of nice to show on the video. But I have two pieces, the best piece of the M9 Toro versus the Wagyu plate I still have. I'm just gonna compare the two side by side. So the A5 Wagyu is a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna put that on the grill okay. first. I'm gonna put two. Oh, let's put three. And then now the M9 Wagyu, much thinner. And I still have some cuts of the A5. Let's put those on. Oh, look at the marbling here. I think that is a tenderloin. All right, so this is becoming done already. Just gonna drag it on one side. On here. And this is the A5. Okay, give it a flip. All right. Number two. Number three. All right, let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Nice and meaty. And again, it just envelops the mouth and it melts. So that was the M9 Australian Wagyu. And let's give the A5 a try. This is a piece from Kagoshima. A5 in Japan. Let's give that a try. <laughs> there is a difference. Mm. And all I put on there was salt, but it is thicker. But again, I think you need that thickness because at least it gives you some mouth, some mouth feel. Otherwise, if they do it thin, it's just gonna evaporate. Very good, and there is a difference. Oh my goodness, so the food never stops and I see Daniel with another plate. All right, let me show you what we have on the table. This is the final plate of Wagyu. Mm. 
What a nice sound. Oh, so that was a bit of work and uh, very rewarding work it was. Four plates full of meats. I just left the ox tongue there, but uh, everything was fantastic. And uh, Sabrina and Daniel uh, and others were fantastic. Really great folks here. And you know, the bit of rice actually helped. You need something to contrast the richness of the meat. And the rice was a nice way of reducing palate fatigue. And uh, this is Shinta and they have a two hour limit. And I think I'm just about to head up to the time point here and I see Sabrina coming. Oh, last call, anything else can I get for you? Oh, you know what, at this point, yeah. I think you were really right to say have a salad. I think yeah. I'm gonna go for a salad. <laughs> and some ice cream? Right? Oh, and ice cream, yes, yeah. all right. Yeah, let me get for you. All right, thank you. I've never been so happy to see a bowl of salad before. Let's give it a dig. I'm going to continue finishing up the salad and we'll take it back for dessert. Oh, so here is the ice cream and the salad actually did help. So I can't wait to give it a try. So we have some strawberry, some coconut and a nice soft serve here. I think let's go for a little bit of a refreshing coconut. Oh, very nice. All right, cheers. Mmm. Oh. Very nice and custardy. Mm. Very good. So this is Shinta and fantastic folks here with uh, Daniel and Sabrina and uh, Shan. Really good folks here. And could there be too much of a good thing? Uh, maybe I thought so because I was uh, really struggling there, but uh, the dessert certainly helped. So thank you so much for joining. And this isn't cheap, but uh, it's probably once in a lifetime, uh, but uh, I don't think I want to see another piece of Wagyu again. Uh, and it does get messy, as you can see, but I got that sorted out. And thank you again for True Earth for sponsoring this video. It really is uh, a little way that we can do to be environmentally responsible, just even reducing a little bit of plastic. And if you want to give it a try, again, I'll leave the discount code and the link in the description below. And uh, check out the website. There's no risk and doing something environmentally responsible by just using a laundry strip is uh, something I can definitely do. So thank you so much again for joining and until we see each other again, uh, I hope you're keeping well and I hope you're eating well. Uh, cheers and God bless.